The South Aegean Project is a national project that was initiated in 2014. It has two main goals. The first is actually to sequence genomic sequence of the Saudi population. And the second is actually to create a database that uh, shows the frequency of genetic disorders within the Saudi population. The reason why is that our population is a consanguineous population. This increases the frequency of rare genetic disorders within the population. We know there is no cure yet for all these diseases, but we wanted to prevent them as much as we can. When this program was built, it has very specific aim and goals to make the life of Saudi future generation much better than it what is today. The Saudi Genome Project was chosen to be one of the programs of the transformation project that is led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. What we hope to achieve is to establish a database for physicians to first diagnose disease precisely and second, choose the best therapeutic approach in a very expedited manner and economically feasible manner. King Abdulaziz City for Science and Technology is the Saudi Arabian main science agency and its national laboratories. Uh, one of the uh, major roles of CAXT is the support and promotion of research and development in key sectors, among which is, the, of course, the health sector. The idea was built to make this accessible to all Saudis wherever and wherever they are. Saudi Arabia is a very large country and it has a lot of areas different in their customs, their habits, and even in their diseases. The infrastructure was designed to have a central lab here in King Abdul City of Science and Technology that connected to eight different satellite sites, having the same exact infrastructure from sequencing technology and even bioinformatic databases. Our genome sequencing facilities here at CACS include next generation sequencing on Illumina and Iron Proton platforms for both whole genome sequencing and whole exome sequencing. These technologies allow high throughput sample processing for screening a large number of genetic variants simultaneously. This is a mega project and it has a lot of people can work on it. So we had to train our PhD holder, our master and even our bachelor technician to know how to deal with this advanced uh, technologies. We also had to train our next generation of Saudi physicians and also Saudi genetic counselors. Genetic counselors are involved in planning and developing sub-projects within the Saudi Human Genome Program. They are enhancing community awareness regarding basic medical genetic knowledge, and they are providing education to other healthcare providers by lectures and training program. We've been working since 2014 up to date. We have managed to sequence up to 60,000 genomic sequencing. We have actually identified more than 7,000 genomic mutations that are actually rare and, and exist within the Saudi population. We know what is unique to our population and we build a tool and kits and test to test it and prevent, it, prevent disease before it happens. And even when it's happened, now we have the capacity to diagnose it at very early time and we don't do it abroad as it used to be. The new array was specially customized to contain specific uh, SNPs uh, which have been chosen during the first phase of the Saudi human genome to cover common diseases such as heart diseases, uh, autoimmune diseases, uh, liver and kidney diseases. By actually using our data in two uh, programs that we are actually initiating now, we will be able to educate and decrease the genetic disorders within the Saudi population. The newborn screening program is a comprehensive program that tests the newborn baby blood for various heritable and congenital diseases 24 hours from the delivery. If the result is showed that a baby affected parent will be soon as possible call and offering the treatment and genetic counseling. The Saudi Premarital Screening Test is a customized carrier status test that looks at pathogenic variants associated with autosomal recessive diseases. It is offered to, to any couple that is seeking more information about their future offspring. Each individual meets a trained healthcare provider that explains the results, answers all questions. The CAC Saudi Genome Project is one of the most successful national programs. We've collaborated with over 700 different collaborators and have published more than 400 publications. 
What's coming next? We're not only looking at purely genetic disorder, we're looking even for more complex genetic disorder. We're looking for cancer, we're looking for other things that can even improve the health of Saudis all over the kingdom. Visibility studies show that the cost of program establishment is readily offset by the uh, savings generated through a reduction in the incidence of genetic diseases. This reduction would result in annual savings of one billion US dollars from healthcare cost. We are really hopeful to continue this journey and to continue uh, producing this informative genetic information to have direct impact uh, to the normal Saudi individual.